I'm going to do a um, pastel, pastel um, drawing of an eye, a human eye. This is what a pastel stick looks like. They're all different. Um, there's different brands. This is a high quality brand. When you're working with pastels, don't use cheap ones. Spend the extra money. It's like everything. You pay what you get. For. You, you get what you pay for. And uh, this is a, a standard size stick. It's soft pastel, it's round, and um, all it is is basically compressed pigment. It's pure colour, and the cost will be about the same as an uh, average tube of oil colour or acrylic, and it'll last pretty well. The, the uh, ground we're painting and drawing on, pastel is drawing and painting, it can be either, uh, is just ordinary cartridge paper. You can get special pastel paper which has a a tooth in it, a bit like sandpaper, which will hold more pastel. But just for this exercise, this will be fine. Alright, I'll start with my first colour. And this will be just a brown. This is just a small stick of pastel. I'll just do an arch like this, simple arch. This will be the eyelid and then the cornea. See, I'll tuck the, the curve of the cornea up underneath there, up underneath the the eyelid. I don't close the bottom here, just leave that for a moment. And of course we will have, we'll make this a hooded eye. Oh, there's a little key duct in there. I'll just pop that in there, this little shape. Just indicate that. And then perhaps it's just the hood of the eye. And because this paper doesn't hold much pastel, whereas a proper pastel paper would, uh, I can't put a lot of colour on it. So I'm going to make this a brown eye. We're just going to put a little half circle in here of yellow. It's like an ochre colour. Then I'll colour in the rest of the eye like this. The stick can be used on its side, on its end, so on. blue, which I will use for the pupil, we'll just darken that in there, and also use that up for the, uh, the edge here of the, the lid, now for a little ochre colour I'll put some skin tone down here like that, I haven't got any packing underneath the Paper. So I'll just take it up to there. So this is a brick wall underneath here. Well, it's, it's a rendered wall. That's why I'm getting texture on the surface. So if I use a little more pressure, notice I've left that little bit of light there. I'll put a little highlight in there. When you're drawing or painting, you always consider the light, the direction of the light. You could do with an eyebrow up there. I'll just take that a little higher, like so. Eyebrow in distance from here to here. I'll just guess this. It's a little thicker. This is a, a right eye. The nose would be over here, so I'll make this a little thicker there. Curve it up to a point and go across like so. There we are. I'll bring the eye to life with a little highlight. This is white. I can smudge these areas a little bit too. Join them together. This is another thing about pastels, you can smudge through this just with a fingertip, just rub them together, up through there, under there. Just join that together a little further, blur that crease a little, the fold of the eye. Here's the highlight, this is just white, I'll just pop it in there, it brings the eye to life just on the side there. And of course, the white of the eye is never really white. So I'll just grey it down. Just a little bit of um, violet. So I'll just put a little bit of that in there. Up near the top a little more. There we are. Back to that, that blue and an eyelash or eyelashes just coming out of here. So I'm just using the corner of the 
the pastel now to you don't have to do this I don't make a big deal out it's a female eye make the ashes a bit longer a bit more there is that peeling or sexy down here there's a little edge to the top of the eyelid so I'll just it's best to underdraw rather than overdraw so I'll just suggest a few little flicks out there for the lower lower lashes tuck that under there a little bit and here I'll smudge this because there's always a shadow at the top of the top of the eye from the light coming from above and uh, I'll go back to my white for a moment and I could just lighten this little area through there could even be pinked up a bit this part here could have a little extra highlight there and pastels will merge together mix together and uh, there could be a cheek down here just lighten this just part here and maybe a little light underneath the eyebrow just there and that's it pastels are great fun they're really great to work with and you can do all sorts of interesting things.